Hello, welcome back to my video. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a terrarium uh, using some of the items that laying around in my house. Uh, maybe it's you can uh, use this as an example so you can apply that to your uh, case. So this are the item that I'm gonna use today to make that terrarium. So those land are the um, sundew and the butterwort and some kind of um, the vinaf fly trap that I'm gonna use today and also I have some kind of uh, string of turtle in there all of them are already roots so uh, that those are the plants I'm gonna use in my terrarium and then I have uh, the, some kind of mini orchid or miniature orchid and this orchid is um, this one that is the Phalaenopsis the baby one so I still put them in there so until they grow bigger then I can move them later <coughs> And with the wood, I use the drip wood. I don't know if it's a drip wood or that is the, what is that? Grapes, uh, vine or root that I purchased on, online. And that, I have to pick the one that fit my, uh, my dorm right here. So this dorm is um, the one that for the lighting uh, cover, which is the light that we no longer use it, but I reuse the, the cover for uh, to make this dorm. So you see how big that is. And then inside, I'm gonna use um, a tray where I can pu put the peat moss and all my plants in there. So make sure that your uh, your wood piece fit that tray. That tray I, bu I bought it from Ikea. And then the... Um, the tray, this tray is, uh, I reuse it from the microwave tray, the one that's spinning around. So that microwave broken, so I no longer use it. So I use, reuse the tray. So before we start, just make sure that everything that you put inside the, the tray that holding everything, it fit under the dome. So this, gray tray right here that where I'm gonna uh, put every plane all the plane that in there so this piece of wood I'm gonna put inside I told the seller that the dimension of the um, the layout that I'm gonna use so they cut up the, the wood piece fit my uh, layout and then you put you try to put everything together first and to see if it actually fit before you lay out you uh you put in your plan so just in case so this i'm um, this is how i'm gonna lay out my plan so i put the dome over so it look kind of fit right now okay that look good then i'm start putting the plan and everything in So when you're okay with that, then have a final look and that should be the way that it's, that wood gonna stay. Okay, I keep, I'm gonna remember that and then uh, we'll see what plan we're gonna put in there. I'm gonna put a lot of plan in there like um, the butter word, different kind of butter word and then uh, vendor fly trap sundews different kind of sundew and then a uh, string of turtles and also miniature orchid that i'm gonna put in there so we'll see uh, how they gonna lay they gonna be laid out in this kind of design let's see
All right. Based on what we start at the beginning, uh, how the layout gonna be. So we're gonna fill up uh, the bottom of that tray with moss. Uh, I use piece moss with uh, the still water. I already wet them, so I just put them straight into the uh, container to build a foundation for my plan. So make sure you lay it out evenly through the, out the whole tray and um, yeah. And then when you uh, think that the layer of the piece mask is, uh, not the piece mask, the uh, sphagnum mask is thick enough, you can start putting in the plan that you're gonna put in there. So I'm gonna start with the um, Venus fly trap. So let's see where I'm gonna put them. Okay, I think I'm gonna put them there. Hmm yeah so basically it's just how you want to lay out your plan around the um the design that you think that is gonna fit them the most so i'm just try every angle of the uh the tray that i can think of and 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 see which angles look best for that that plan so i just put it there so this one i'm gonna put it there at that corner Okay, I try to put the root inside, <laughs> like deep down in the um in the sphagnum mass, so it can uh. And then with this uh, second vendor fly, uh, fly trap, I'm gonna put it on top of the wood. So in that case, I have to um, run the root somehow to have the root getting be able to get the water from the bottom. So I'm gonna put the piece uh, the uh, sphagnum mass in first, and then I'm gonna put the root on top of that sphagnum moss and cover that root again with a, a layer, another layer of the sphagnum moss. And then I run that sphagnum moss all the way to the bottom of the tray, so that sp sphagnum moss be able to suck the water from the bottom to the top to feed that uh, fly trap. So uh, that fly trap is not dry out.
So with the mini orchid and uh, what is that called? The string of turtle, I'm gonna put it on top of the, the wood piece uh, instead of on the bottom because they, uh, they don't need water. They don't need soaking water like um, the shandu and the uh, wood. So I'm gonna put it on top of the wood and then kind of cover the root with a little uh, sphagnum moss to keep it moist because it's gonna stay in the dorm anyway so they will have some kind of air like humid uh, so they can still survive so it's just how you decide to put your um, your orchid or whatever similar piece that you want to put so just find a place that you happy with it to stay there and then just go with it and um so by the time i upload this video it's already like a couple like a couple weeks or i think it's more than a month that i have this and then i surprised that the the orchid that um really like this environment and especially the string of turtle a lot of people told me and asked me that if the string of turtle is um okay okay with um with uh really high humidity and uh really wet environment like this dorm and at first i thought it's not okay it's not gonna be okay but actually they really like it they grow all over and with babies and roots all over the place so if if you think that string of turtle doesn't like a uh, wet environment uh, i think i don't I, I don't know what wrong with mine then but they look really healthy and they climb all over the wood piece all the way to the top so yeah just you never know just give it a try until uh until it gives you the answer and then you know but yeah and then with this piece of orchid with the root is like uh, everywhere like this at first i thought it's gonna die however it's actually giving me another leaf right now and um the root is keep getting longer and longer and i think it's stuck to the wood now so yeah i i i'm glad that it's like this environment
And here's the final. That is how it look like. And let's have a look before we put the dome over. Yeah, let us uh, fill up with some of the spectrum moss too, where it still have room, and then make some final adjustment. And this is the water I'm used. This is the still water. I'm gonna um pour them all over the the wood and everywhere before I put the dome over, so they can have enough water to to generate their um their old closed dome that they're gonna supply their own energy and water. So with this kind of dome, you don't have to water them all the time. So I only water them like once a month or so yeah So after make some final adjustment, this is how the terrarium look like right now. And after I close the dome as well, so this is, <laughs> it's look 
okay for me right now so we'll see how it's well as you can see through the dome that is um all the plant in there they're gonna supply their own energy like their water because most of the plant in there they don't need a lot of uh, nutrition so i don't have to um fertilize them i just feed them the the still water and then they they build their own energy and and and, and so on and they do they, they can yeah this is really low maintenance uh terrarium for me but uh we'll see only time can answer but right now that is how it looks like for me